Deep in the heart of Texas on Monday night, Pat McAfee was doing what he was hired by ESPN last May to do, talk football to a passionate audience. As part of the company's multi-platform coverage of Michigan's 34-13 win over Washington, there was McAfee, roaming the sidelines of NRG Stadium in Houston with his usual frenetic zeal and a white cowboy hat, announcing the national championship game, on ESPN2, as part of the field pass with the Pat McAfee Show, part of the smorgasbord of offerings for ESPN's megacast presentation of the college football national championship. McAfee and his showcast provided the same broadcast for the Rose Bowl game between Michigan and Alabama on Jan. One, drawing a healthy 1.4 million viewers, the largest audience for any college football alternate telecast. ESPN was one big happy football family Monday night. The viewership for the main telecast on ESPN should be decent given the game was tight heading into the fourth quarter. But the days leading up to it were as bumpy as ESPN has seen in some time. Three days before the college football title game, McAfee accused longtime ESPN executive Norby Williamson of sabotaging his program by leaking false viewership information to the media. There are some people actively trying to sabotage us from within ESPN, McAfee said Friday. More specifically, Norby Williamson is the guy who is attempting to sabotage our program. That was preceded two days earlier by McAfee apologizing following an appearance by regular guest Aaron Rodgers. The New York Jets quarterback crassly suggested ties between ABC late night show host Jimmy Kimmel and Jeffrey Epstein, the disgraced financier and convicted sex offender. Kimmel's name has not appeared in hundreds of pages of previously sealed court documents related to Epstein. ESPN's parent company Disney owns ABC, where Jimmy Kimmel Live is thus a corporate mess. Rogers is scheduled to appear on McAfee's show again Tuesday, and given the news of the week, the appearance will draw similar interest to last March when Rogers announced on McAfee's show his desire to play for the New York Jets in 2023. With a tumultuous beginning to 2024, here are some things to think about regarding the state of the ESPN-McAfee relationship. Where do things stand between ESPN management and McAfee today? For the moment, everyone has agreed to stand down. How long that can realistically last is impossible to prognosticate. ESPN is a company that historically has loathed internal squabbles turning public, and ESPN on ESPN crime in many ways is the worst transgression a staffer can commit because, like most media companies, it is very conscious of how it appears to the public. Such conflict quickly turns into content generation for others and provides an endless supply of social media commentary. It is also significant that McAfee is one of the highest paid on-air talents at the company. Top management has placed a big bet that McAfee can bring in a younger audience to ESPN and, specifically, draw people in from non-linear platforms.
the company put out a very long press release on January 5th that specifically highlighted his reach across multiple platforms, including YouTube and TikTok. The linear numbers for The Pat McAfee Show, meaning viewership on ESPN, averaged 332,000 viewers in the month of December, per ESPN. For a more real-time data point, Sports Media Watch reported the show averaged 290,000 viewers on ESPN last Thursday. The FS1 competition in that spot drew 190,000. McAfee's show is simulcast from noon 2 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN, ESPN on YouTube and ESPN Plus, with the final 2 to 3 p. M. Our airing on ESPN Plus and The Pat McAfee Show channel on YouTube. In fighting at ESPN of course happens, as it does at every corporation with big egos and big salaries. But McAfee publicly calling out a powerful member of ESPN senior management is highly unusual. Williamson oversees NFL and college football at ESPN along with Sports Center, Audio, the SEC Network, MLB, NHL, Combat, Golf, Tennis and Investigative Journalism. He has long been one of the most powerful executives at the company given that he can make or break careers with his portfolio. On Saturday, ESPN put out a statement saying it will handle this matter internally and have no further comment. No one is more committed to and invested in ESPN's success than Norby Williamson, the statement said. At the same time, we are thrilled with the multi-platform success that we have seen from The Pat McAfee Show across ESPN. ESPN declined to make chairman Jimmy Pitaro, President of Content Burke Magnus or Williamson available. A spokesperson reiterated that they are not commenting beyond the statement. For many of those with close ties to ESPN, the criticism of management was not surprising, only the public nature of the feud.